Hello, it's the loveliest afternoon and I have some gardening to do. I have strawberries and tomatoes and lupins to plant. But before I did that, I thought since it was such a lovely afternoon, we could sit out in the garden and I'd read a story for us. It's a new book I've got. It's called Hello Lighthouse and it's by Sophie Blackall, who did such a beautiful job. She won the Caldecott Medal. There it is. Do you like lighthouses? I love lighthouses. I have always wanted to live in a lighthouse ever since I was a little girl. It would just be amazing, wouldn't it, to live on the edge of a cliff like that with the ocean pounding down below and seagulls twirling around in the air above us screaming and having to carefully tend that lamp each night. Oh, it'd be so good. Okay, let's see what happens in this lighthouse story. Hello Lighthouse by Sophie Blackall. On the highest rock of a tiny island at the edge of the world stands a lighthouse. It is built to last forever, sending its light out to sea guiding the ships on their way. From dusk to dawn, the lighthouse beams. Hello, 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 lighthouse. Oh, they have to build lighthouses very strong to stand up to those big waves. The new keeper arrives to replace the old, to carry on tending the light polishes the lens and refills the oil and trims the burnt end of the wick. Throughout the night, he winds the clockwork that keeps the lamp in motion. During the day, he gives the round rooms a fresh coat of sea green paint. He writes in his logbook and threads his needle and listens to the gathering wind. This is the kind of picture I adore. Look at that, the inside of the lighthouse that he so carefully keeps. There he is sewing, there he is arriving. The wind takes a deep breath and blows and blows. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, the wind can be loud, can't it? It is here on the top of our hill. The keeper boils water and drinks his tea as he fishes for cod from the window. He'd need a long fishing line for that, wouldn't he? He sets the table and hums a tune and he wishes for someone to talk to. There he is, fishing and setting his table. Every few days he writes her a letter and throws it into the sea. He tends the light and writes in the log book and waits for her reply. I think he's popped it in a little glass bottle first. So hopefully it washes up in just the right spot. The sky grows dark and the waves rise and crash. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty fierce, doesn't it? I hope he feels cozy. The keeper looks through his telescope. Have you got a telescope? You can make a telescope out of a toilet roll. The tender arrives, tender is another word for boat, bringing oil and flour and pork and beans and his wife. How brave is she getting off the boat in a little basket? He shows her around the round rooms of their house. He tends the light and writes in the log book and sets the table for two. 
And look, they're having a dance. Oh, he looks happy now. The fog makes everything disappear. A bell must be rung to warn the ships. Clang, clang, clang. Look at that. Oh, you can barely see anything. Oh, my goodness. Those ships will have to take care. One thick night, disaster strikes. A boat is wrecked on the rocks. Oh, not a moment to lose. The keeper rows out. He pulls three sailors from the deep black sea. Look at him. Oh my goodness. How brave do lighthouse keepers have to be? Hmm? He tends the light and writes in the logbook and wraps the sailors in blankets. And look, his lovely wife has made steaming cups of tea and they've hung the sailors' clothes over the line to dry them. The sea turns into a carpet of ice. Hello, hello, hello. There's only seals out there. They look as though they're belly sliding across that ice. One dawn, the keeper begins to sneeze. Achoo! By dusk, he is terribly ill. His wife is everywhere, all at once, running up and down the spiral stairs. She tends the light and feeds him broth and chips ice off the lantern room windows. She sits by his side and writes in the logbook the minute his fever breaks. Oh my goodness, look how busy she is. Keeping everything going. She is a gem. The icebergs pass on their journey south. The whales pass on their journey north. Hello, hello, hello. Look at that. Can you see that? The whales and the icebergs. And that whale has a beautiful baby. Do you know that whales, they feed their babies milk? Isn't that marvelous? Inside the lighthouse, the woman walks around and around the room. Her husband boils water and helps her breathe in and out. He tends the light and writes in the logbook. Can you guess what might be happening here? Look at her tummy. Can you see it? I think they've made a baby. And notes the birth of their child. Look at that. Oh my. Can you imagine being born in a lighthouse? The sky erupts in swirls of green. Hello, 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 baby. Look at that, it's like the, the whole world is celebrating the arrival of that little baby. The tender arrives, bringing oil and flour, pork and beans, and the mail. Along with fresh books and news from the land, there's an unexpected letter with the Coast Guard seal. The keeper winds the clockwork and polishes the lens, just as he's always done. He tends the light and writes in the logbook, but he knows it's not for long. Look, many years have passed. The baby's now a little girl. I wonder what's going to happen. Together, they watch the horizon. You see them right up there at the top of the lighthouse? They're using their telescope. Get out your telescope, ready? That's it. 
watch the horizon, see what you can see. The Coast Guard arrives with a brand new light and installs the machine to run it. No lamp to fill, no wick to trim, the keeper's work is done. He climbs to the top of the spiral stairs and closes the log book for good. They pack their belongings into the boat and wave farewell to the gulls. They would probably know all those gulls by their feathers and their special core, don't you think? There he is. Imagine saying farewell. Beyond the breakers, they all look up. Goodbye, lighthouse. Goodbye. 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 On the highest rock of a tiny island at the edge of the world stands a lighthouse. It is built to last forever sending its light out to sea. The fog rolls in and the fog rolls out. The waves rise and crash. The wind blows and blows. Hello, hello, hello. It's very quiet and silent out there now, isn't it? And over the waves, across the bay, a light on the land beams back. Hello, lighthouse. Hello. 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 And look who is living in that little cottage on the edge of the cliff watching their beautiful old lighthouse. It's the family. Look at Mummy. She has a dress with anchors all over it. I think she likes the seaside life. And look up here on the shelf. There's one of the letters she saved that her husband wrote her. And that's the end with one last go. Isn't that just the loveliest book? I think that's going to become one of my favourites. See you later. <laughs>